So today I have five frugal wins for you, and I almost forgot for a second, but two frugal fails. But it's nothing like that last week, at least. Alright, so let's start with the wins. I designed some new channel art for my channel for free, because I did it myself. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think about it. It's this new um, geometric blue and teal and kind of green stuff replacing the old floral and um, it might be a little bit better for any sort of like stuff I might try to make with it because the floral was very hard to match colors on believe it or not so I'm trying that out I might not keep it I might uh, but it was kind of fun to do and I enjoy that that color palette a lot so um, and that was free I didn't hire anyone to do it for me I just did it myself and integrated it. All right, number two is that I did my taxes. I went to my CPA and had my taxes done, and I actually didn't end up having to use the money that I had set aside for YouTube taxes. Uh, I did owe some YouTube taxes, but my refund from my regular job was able to cover that, and I'm still getting just a little bit back. I am, I do seek to have a pretty much not give the government any money to borrow all year interest free and also not owe at the end of the year so I'm still kind of working with that but it's not that much that I'm getting back and y'all will see that in my recap video and it's all going to debt and I also get to put the money that I put aside for YouTube tax savings to debt so it's gonna be a good month all right um, number three is that I hit 10,000 steps three times this week I've been uh, exercising a lot and uh, you know they recommend 10,000 steps and I have a Fitbit that tracks that and um, I usually don't hit it three times in a week I might hit it once or twice but three times is a lot but I did it yay so and it was all free exercise um, actually yeah because I uh, didn't have a zoom class on any of the days that I hit it so woohoo all right um, I did exercise five times this week but three times I, I hit the 10k on one of the Zumba I had Zumba once this week I'll tell you about that in a sec all right um, number four is that I got paid from a sponsored video I did back in January uh, from glassesusa.com and I'm excited to put that money to death this month and it's just excellent and I'm still wearing my glasses I got from them so I am all over that loving that Glad I was able to partner with a good company to bring you guys good information and figure out how to get cheap glasses online that are really good quality. So I try only to partner, actually I do only partner with companies that I really believe in and that I've vetted and that I 100% stand behind. So um, you guys can always trust me when I am working on that because uh, I'm not going to just take a paycheck to recommend things to you guys that aren't. I don't believe in. It's just not going to happen. I'm not that interested in money. <laughs> All right. Um, number five is actually another sponsor video related. I was working on some stuff for an upcoming sponsor video this week, and that should be interesting and that should be fun and coming up. Um, and I will get paid for that. So I consider that a frugal thing as well. All right. So on to the fails. I ordered some chia seeds on Amazon because I like putting them in my shakes I make in the morning, my, um, my smoothies, not shakes. And I accidentally shipped them to my friend Jamie in California instead of me. So that was dumb. Um, and she's shipping them to me. She actually had some stuff she needed to send me. So she threw it in there. Um, so I don't know exactly how much it costs, but she won't let me pay her back for it. So it wasn't a huge fail on my part and it did motivate her to send me some stuff that she had been meaning to send, uh, me, but it was dumb of me not to check the shipping. It easily could have been like a waste of $10 for, you know, multiple pounds, by the way, of chia seeds. But, um... Yeah, if it had cost more to send them back than they were worth, obviously I just would have wasted that money. So I will be getting them, but I was kind of dumb. All right, and the second fail is that there was no Zumba class on Thursday, and there won't be Zumba class next week either. And I pay per month for Zumba these days, so I am actually losing out on some money because of that. It is not my fault. Uh, next week is spring break. And all the other people that I take the class with and the person who runs the class 
is a mom. And so everybody's off from school. They're all going out to, you know, and, and well, there are some retired ladies that are in the class, but they're, they're different life situations than I am. They can take off next week and go and do stuff with their families and go vacationing and stuff like that. One of them's taking a travel trailer somewhere and spending the week there. And so class has been canceled. Now, if, if this class was held at like a gym or something that was much more expensive, I would probably ask for, you know, three classes of a month being canceled out of eight classes in a month, some sort of refund or some sort of like giving me credit the next month for classes, but this is not that kind of situation. I take classes from a mom in an empty school classroom after hours. It is only $25 a month and it's, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ask her to refund me part of my money for that or to give it to the next month. It's just not, I don't think that's very classy. So, um, but if I had known about it ahead of time, what I probably would have done this month was paid per class, which I think would have been fine because I've paid per class before when I knew I couldn't make a lot of classes and it would have saved me eight to ten dollars this month, perhaps. Yeah, if I missed three classes um, for the month, but it's fine. It's This is one of those things where you just have to be a human being and be like, yeah, the, everybody's taken off on vacation. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so I'm going to be sadly, I've sadly missed out on Zumba this Thursday and I'm sadly missing out on Zumba next week. Money wise, I, I'm, yeah, I'm less sad about losing the money than I am about missing the class. So it'll, you know, pick up after the week after that and it'll be fine. Um, it's just, it w was just a slight money fail. So I thought to report that because I like reporting my fails to you guys, even when they're embarrassing for me, because I never want anyone to think that I am perfect or preaching or, you know, have some sort of like weirdly charmed life where nothing ever goes wrong. And I, I don't think you guys would ever believe that about me because I'm pretty upfront about everything and all the stupid mistakes I make sometimes. So, uh, but nevertheless, even when we make mistakes, we can persevere. We can make more good decisions than bad ones and we can win with money. This went in a weird direction, but that's okay. Y'all are used to that around here. So please tell me your frugal wins and fails for the month. And I almost forgot. I have a congratulations to C. McKay for paying off her credit card debt. Yay! Internet high five, C. Um, I don't think that's the last of her debt. I think she left a comment on my channel and I, and I jotted it down real quick. But yeah, that's a big step. Big, big steps. So congratulations to you. And if you have a win, like you've paid off your debt or you've paid off your car, or you've paid off your house or something like that, please share it with me because I want to celebrate with you guys because you guys always celebrate my successes um, and I want to share in your joy on that. So for wins and fails below, I will see you tomorrow.